Hey guys, welcome to the weekly video where we answer your questions. If you want to submit a question to be featured on one of these videos, the best way to do that is in the comments section. Alternatively, you can message us on Instagram or email us. Details on how to do that are down below. And if you want to support what we're doing here, a link to our Patreon is also in the description box. Today's question comes from an Instagram uh, comment that I got. And that is, is spanking a better or more effective punishment than non-physical punishments? So when you're looking at spanking versus non-spanking punishments, it's not necessarily looking at what is better or worse in general. It's really looking at what works better for you. Every couple is going to be unique in what works for them, right? Every taken in hand is going to have their own ways that they um, react to certain punishments. And everybody's going to have their own limits within that, right? And so it's not that spanking is better. It's just that most people within domestic discipline do find that spanking is more effective and has a definitely has a place within their punishment system in some capacity. But some taken in hands really do respond well to non-spanking punishments. And so you just have to look at what works for you, what works for your taken in hand, and decide how to approach punishments in a way that gets the results that you want. You can look at you know, things like what we use, which is writing lines, having early bedtimes, you know, losing certain privileges. Those are all things that have an appropriate uh, application as well. But at the end of the day, for myself, spanking really is something that is the most effective because it causes enough of a deterrent for me to not want to repeat behavior. So if you're finding that you're taken in hand is repeating misbehaviors over and over, then obviously what you're doing isn't working or it's not working effectively. And so you want to take a look at what you're doing and, and shift. And so that's really what you have to determine. I think that for most couples, having spanking as an option really is effective. And I've heard before from other places on the internet that if you are a couple that enjoys spanking in any capacity that you can't use it for a punishment. I disagree with that because I do think that there is a distinct difference between um, spanking for fun and punishment. And it definitely, you if you're going to use spanking for both um, fun enjoyment and also punishment, you do need to make a very clear distinction between the two. Um, there are ways to create a punishment system that includes spanking, even if you are a couple that enjoys spanking um, otherwise. So one of the ways you can do that is by having different implements for punishments. Also incorporating a lecture that is a huge part that of what determines a punishment from a fun spanking. Um, also having maybe even different positions that you use for punishment versus a fun spanking that can also help make that distinction. So just because you have a taken in hand that maybe enjoys punishment or erotic spanking from time to time doesn't mean that you can't use spanking as a punishment because again, the headspace is completely different. The mindset is completely different. The way the spanking is um, applied and um, approached is completely different. So it can be um, something that is used even if you use spanking in other areas of your relationship as well. But that doesn't mean that spanking is a superior 
punishment, right? It's just something that most people find to be very effective because it's immediate. It is typically very effective at changing behavior. It's something that if done appropriately, causes enough of a deterrent that the taken in hand doesn't necessarily want to experience that level of spanking again, and they won't intentionally break that rule again. But that doesn't mean that non-spanking punishments can't also work. It's just logistically to apply non-spanking punishments effectively takes maybe a little bit more time and intention, but they can definitely be effective. And I'm not going to go into all of the options for non-spanking punishments because that could take a while. And honestly, what I have seen is that people get really, really creative with their non-spanking punishments. So it's not even something that I feel like I could be comprehensive, even if I tried to. So definitely do your own research, but just remember that any type of punishment that you use in your relationship does need to be talked about, negotiated, and limits need to be um, honored within that. So I definitely think that anytime you are going to introduce a new punishment, you need to bring it to your partner, whether um, most typically if you're head of household and you've decided I think I want to try this punishment. You've got to take that to your taken in hand, see if they're okay with uh, submitting themselves to that punishment because ultimately you do have to honor their limits and they do get to have um, the ability to say, no, that's not something that I'm willing to, to do. So all that to say, spanking versus non spanking, I really even don't, I don't think that it needs to be a competition. I think they both have um, appropriate applications within relationships. If you want to have a relationship where your only consequence is spanking, you definitely can do that. It's not something that I would necessarily like recommend um, because I think having some variation and having some alternatives can be very handy, especially in certain circumstances. Um... But if you want to have a relationship with completely non-spanking punishments and don't incorporate spanking at all, you can do that as well. But you might run into some trouble because that is a longer road. That is, um, that takes a little bit more intention and a little bit more um, hands-on corrective actions. So again, it's something that you have to decide what works for your relationship or what works for you as a couple and what approach do you want to take because neither is bad, but I definitely think that they both have their appropriate applications in relationships. So I hope that that answered the question. I hope you enjoyed my perspective on this topic and I hope that you got some information out of it please let me know what you think down below so that um, we can have a conversation about it. What do you guys think? Is spanking superior to non-spanking punishments? Is spanking necessary for a healthy domestic discipline relationship? Or can you have a good domestic discipline relationship without incorporating spanking and just having these non-spanking punishments? What are some non-spanking punishments that you use? Put it in the comments. Let's have a conversation about it. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later.